Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Good morning, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. Grab you something to drink, and let's just have some good old crochet talk. Good old black coffee. <laughs> Okay, uh, one of the first things that I would like to show you guys is, oh, how do you like my shirt? My head says Jim, but my heart says crochet. <laughs> I think a lot of us can relate to this. Yeah. Okay, The one of the first things I wanted to show you is that um, I finished my last two squares for Knox's Blanket. Um, if you remember, I'm doing two squares a month. And I'm working out of this 3D granny square book. And this right here, these are all the tabs that I've done. These are, these two are the two tabs that um, I just finished. And I left them down there so that I could easily find them for you guys. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. One of the squares I finished, I did the little cat. Now, I did the cat in different colors because I have already some great animals in here. So, I did him like a tabby cat type look. So, there's my cat. He was really easy to make. Um, let's see. The other one, Nona Grace. <laughs> You're going to like this one, sweetie. Now... There's the chicken, but I did not do the chicken that that big 3D. It looks really big 3D, like it would stick out way too much. So I just did mine flat. And I wasn't even sure it looked like a chicken when I finished. So I texted the picture to my daughter and I was like, does it look like a chicken? She said, yeah, so I'm, I'm sticking with it. But yeah, that's the... Uh, that was really 3D, and I was afraid it was going to stand up like that high away from the blanket, and I didn't want that. So, I went ahead and did mine flat like all the others. But it still has the 3D look, you know, got going there. His little nose sticks out. Anyway, so yeah, that's the two that I finished for July. Um, Let's see, if you haven't seen my squares yet, here's... My line in my mouse. I have the rabbit, the puppy dog, the panda, the bear, the pig, and the fox. Now, a lot of you, if you're working on these, um, one of the advice that I would give is to make your circle first. And don't do this outside edging till last. They have you doing it next. But I would not do that. Just make the circle. And then start your square in the back loop of your circle. And then just continue making it. And it will be one flat piece. Then go back in. And um, you can place your ears. Let's see. Yeah, I think I placed my ears first. And uh, because that, that way I can make sure they're... they're Pretty centered with the uh, with my square in between, and then I put my face on. So that's one of the tips I have for you. And also, a lot of the circles are sort of different. I would basically take one of these square patterns, do the one circle for all of them, and then the same square for all of them. I wouldn't even read the directions on any of the patterns anymore. I would just make one, make the circle and then go back and read the instructions on like where, how to add the ears and things like that, because all the circles are the same, um, but yet they have different instructions and it's just so confusing. I need to lay his flaps down. I keep forgetting to do that. I didn't know why I didn't catch on to that earlier, but I made quite a few squares where I did things differently, and I really didn't have to. But, um, it's, you know, it is what it is. I know now. <laughs> so, and that way they'll all be the same size. You won't have to worry about 
are your squares the same size anymore. They will just be the same size. So anyway, I hope that little tip helps. But definitely do not do the face until, because they have you doing the face before you start the square. I would not do that. Do That is, should be your last part because you will be fighting it forever trying to get your square centered. You will be starting over and over and over several times. And um, yeah, so that is the best tip I have for you guys. Otherwise, these are really easy to to do. You know, if you'll just do your circle first and then your square and then the face and the ears. <laughs> Lesson learned there, guys. But it is a good book. I really do enjoy it. And I will show you my plan for this blanket. Okay. Here is my plan. I've gotten it all drawn out. Each of the uh, numbers on the blanket square up the top, those are the animals. So I have 10 animals. And then, let's see. The uh, blank ones are the square, the blank squares. And then the K-N-O-X at the top, those are going to be um, gray background. And I'm not sure what I want to do with the letters yet. I haven't decided that, what color. They'll probably be black, but we'll see. And then the whole blanket, as you can tell, is trimmed in this blue. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, so there's going to be 10 animals, four plain uh, squares with letters on them, 10 plain squares, and that's going to be 24 squares. These are 8-inch squares, um, and they're going to have a blue border. Now, I was thinking about my plain squares being all gray, but um, I think I'm changing my mind. I may make some gray and some beige. So, I will show you the yarn. I bought this yarn from Gia. Hi, Gia, from Yarnnet.com. She's a sweet lady. She sells uh, Hobium and Ice Yarns on her, um, she has a little website. She has a YouTube channel, too, so I will send you to her channel. I will send you to where you can buy her ice yarns. But this is the blue I bought from her for my blanket, specifically for my blanket. And here is my gray. And this yarn is so soft, guys. I love this yarn. It is. It feels really good. This is, it says it's made in Turkey. It's 100% acrylic. It's a uh, four weight. And I guess the color is 23889. And it says Ice Yarn's favorite. It says the word favorite. I'm not sure if that's maybe the, you know, the kind of yarn it is. But anyway, so I have the gray and the blue is 67800. So I have those two, but I have another one. Hold on. And the other color I was talking about working with, I have some pink yarn in there. <laughs> <laughs> is the beige, the cream color rather, I'm sorry, the cream color. And it is for weight uh, 23722. So when I bought this, I bought these three colors because I was going to make him a blanket. But at the time, it wasn't going to be the uh, 3D square blanket. I was going to make this. And I bought quite a few, quite a bit of this to make him a blanket. And then I stumbled upon my 3D book, and I thought, well, how can I incorporate that with these colors? And so that's what I came up with. It's still, it's going to be all these, and it's going to be trimmed in the blue, and then I'm going to have gray squares, and I'm thinking about going ahead and doing some beige squares. I don't know why I forgot about my beige. My note says gray squares, but I think they should be gray and beige. <laughs> so the bag that I'm carrying them in is just my Mary Maxim bag, Live, Love, Craft, Mary Maxim. <laughs> All right, so let me put these back. But yeah, go check out if you want some ice yarns and you don't want to buy the big packs. You just want to buy individual skeins. Go check out her website. Um, let's see. Some of the yarns that I used in the last one was the Premier Basic for my Tabby Cat. Or I guess that's, I think, I meant for him to sort of be orange like a Tabby Cat. So anyway, it's a medium full weight Premier Basic. I used, uh, oh, what color is this one? Coral is the color of that. The color of my cat is the big twist. 
and it's burnt orange. I love this color. It is very pretty. Just love burnt orange. And then the Big Twist Red, and it's called Varsity Red. Looks really bright with my light shining on it, but it's really not that bright, guys. It's just red. It's weird how it comes off. And I don't have a label for that one. <laughs> and so the reason you see these months, he was born in March. And so I wanted, I started this in March and I wanted to uh, make all my squares, get this finished and by February do the assembly. And that way when he has his first birthday, this will be his birthday gift. I mean, I'm having so much fun with this and it's not stressful on me because of, um, I'm just doing two squares a month. I mean, you know, how easy. Um, I have like March, April, May, June, in July, I need to put a check mark by July. I forgot to put one there. Uh, it's two squares a month for, for those. August and September, I'm doing three. And then I went back down to only two for the rest of the months because, you know, Christmas, getting ready for that and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I did, I have October, November, December, and January, two squares. And they'll go pretty fast because they're, they're just going to be the plain squares. No animals, no circles. There's just going to be a big square. So those will go really fast. Matter of fact, on the, some of them that says two a month, I may just do even do more, you know. Um, but I don't know. I really like having this to do every month. Looking forward to making the, the squares for that month for his birthday. So I'll probably stick to my plan and not try to get ahead. Um, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Had to take a coffee break, guys. <laughs> okay, alrighty. The next thing that I want to show you guys is a yarn swap from my yarny friend from Florida. It's Nancy from She's Got Yarn Too. Hi, Nancy. Uh, we were texting last night um, about all our different projects and stuff, and she is doing a great job. She has a lot of whips. And I don't know if you've seen her channel, but if you haven't, I will link it below. I will probably try to put it up here. You need to go check her out. She has a lot of whips. And she is really, really working on finishing them up. Because a lot of them just need a little bit to it, and they're done. So she is going through and um, pulling those out. She's sending me pictures of what she's working on. And I'm so proud of you, Nancy. That is a huge thing to do. I mean, I even have a couple of... Uh, bags over here myself that I need to just go ahead and pull out. So my one arm cardigan, for instance, you guys know about my one arm cardigan. It is still one arm. <laughs> I have the yarn. I have the sleeve made. The sleeve is not attached. <laughs> it's nothing to attach it. Yeah, we're all there with you, Nancy. You're not the only one. So she sent me this box. Um, for our yarn swap and she should be showing having a video showing what I uh, sent her but one of the things is she is giving she has given me some clover hooks some of these bigger size hooks that I don't have are right here now I do have one of these and I would love to have a second one I'm so excited to see the second one because that one, it's like when I have a project, I can't keep it with the project. Or if I leave it with the project and then I'm looking for my K hook, leave it in the project. It's like I can't, I'm having to go dig it and find it in the project. So this is so nice. Thank you, Nancy. And so we have a, um, I love these colors. We have an NP, which is a 10 millimeter hook. Pretty. I love these colors. MN, a 9 millimeter hook. And a 7.0 millimeter hook. And she, last night, she um, has two more hooks that she has sent me that are larger than these. So, I'm so excited. Thank you, Nancy. Um, okay, she sent me a little note. Thank you for the note. And here is what she sent. I need this. This is Caron Marble Cakes. Look there. I have a couple of these. But I really need a few more. I'm making a blanket for my bed. So, um, there it is. It is 
100% acrylic, 404 yards, and the color is cookies and cream. I love it, love it, love it. And for some reason, this cookies and cream is darker. Look at this, guys. Make sure my string is not getting in my coffee. I <laughs> just like, oh, it didn't. But this one seems darker than this one. So thank you, Nancy. I'm so excited over that. And she gave me one more of uh, the gray fleck yarn. I have one right there. And um, I was needing another one. So she sent me another one. It's light gray. If you guys haven't tried fleck yarn, oh my God, it is the best yarn ever. I love this yarn. I can't get enough of it. I have made two cardigans out of this stuff. And it that cardigan is just like one of my favorite cardigans to put on. It just feels good. Oh my gosh, I love this yarn. Um, but I don't know if it's just, yeah, it says limited time only. I don't know if they're talking about the color is a limited time or if flex itself is a limited time. I don't know, but I just know I love this yarn and it's reasonably priced. I mean, regular price is $10 for all of this yarn. Look at this up close. Isn't it gorgeous? And it feels good. Let's see how much you get for 10 bucks. 590 yards and it's constantly going on sale um and if, i think that they might even have them clearance now and i don't know this year may be all i i'm not sure but that sign right there just kind of makes me worry a little bit because this yarn is awesome so i hope that they only mean the color maybe and maybe they'll come up out with some more of this for fall i don't know but it is kind of silky feeling like a good summer type of yarn. So I don't know. Maybe they'll come out with a new color, batch of colors every summer. I don't know, but I sure do like it. The other thing she sent me, and I'm in love with this. Look at these colors on this one. Oh my gosh. It is gorgeous. I love this. Thank you, Nancy. This is called Blue Velvet and 100% acrylic, 404 yards. And uh, so I've got one, two, and three. So, yes, I'm going to have fun with this. I don't know what I want to make with this. Um, but I just know I want to do something. It is beautiful. Just gorgeous. I love these colors together. I love this yarn, guys. I started working with this just recently and found out that I love this yarn. I mean, I had no idea until I started working with it. So, it is now also one of my favorites <laughs> yarns to work with. And the other thing is, I got, I got my Annie's catalog in. I don't know if you guys got one. And it is full of so much good stuff. But I thought this was adorable and I just had to show this. Look at these crochet balloons at the top. Oh my gosh, you know that's adorable. I've got to make one of those. So, um, it says it's $9.99 for that though. That's a lot to pay for a pattern. I wouldn't mind paying it if it was for a book, but for one pattern, mm, I'm gonna have to think about that one. But look at it again. I just love it. I can't help it. I love it. I don't know if I want to pay $9.99. I don't know if I love it that much. <laughs> I don't know. I. I have to think about it. But one of the other things that they had I saw in here is look at the cars and the truck blanket. That is cute. And then the pig blanket. Oh my gosh. Look down there at the pig blanket. They had, this is just one of their best books I've seen. Look at those. The other animals. That big old cat up there. I mean, oh my gosh. That cat's adorable. And then the unicorns and stuff. This blank, this book is, it's awesome. And... <laughs> I couldn't find this in here, but I'm thinking this itself is a their Christmas magazine. So I'm going to going to go online and check that out. But look at the little car, the stuffed car with the tree on top. I got to do it. I got to find it first, but I got to do it. <laughs> okay, so I thought that was fun. I just had to show it. And oh yeah, that's look at her scarf. Look at that. Oh yeah. This is a really cool book. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see the ma big mouse down there with the little mouse. Oh, God. and he's got a scarf on with teddy bears on it. 
Yeah, I didn't even see that. <laughs> so if this itself is a magazine, like a Christmas magazine if they have out, Annie's Christmas magazine, I am buying it. So I'm going online today to look for that. I'm pretty excited. Um, the other last thing I guess I have is, I don't know if you guys do this, but I make a list. That's my list. And of things that whenever it comes in my mind, like I want to make something or I've got to finish something or just whatever, I write it down here. And then whenever I finish a project, like I just finished my calendar fun, um, the two squares for Knox's blanket, I marked those off. My 14.5 inch doll, I, um, I haven't marked it off yet because I haven't released the pattern, even though the pattern is done. I don't want to mark it off till the whole process is done finished but yeah i have on here all the different things that i'm wanting to do uh or things that i have in progress and i'm going to mark them off as i go along um yeah <laughs> so i don't know maybe this might be helpful for you guys like it is me but i'm loving it i just keep it right there in my crochet room and when i i mean right there in my crochet space and whenever I finish something, I just look at this to see, you know, and if I come across a project, like if I come across something out of here and I buy a pattern, I write it down on my list because, um, you know, I don't want, I'm tired of being confused. I, it's a little overwhelming when you have this many things that you want to do. I'm not saying I'm going to do all this. But I'm finding it a little bit more relaxing on me if I just write it down. And then I can decide in my mind whether I want to do it. Because in my mind, I'm always like, oh, I want to make that. I want to make that. I want to make that. And it's like I'm, I'm overwhelmed. And sometimes when I finish a project, I, I don't know what to do because I have so many things that I want to do. And I just found it so much easier if I just wrote it all down. And I can kind of prioritize that way as well, you know. So maybe if you're feeling overwhelmed like me, that you just want to do everything, just maybe write down the things that you do want to do and then just pick and choose that way. That way you're not having, your mind is not having to do it. It's all on paper. I hope that's coming off right. <laughs> okay. Let's do our 365 days of prayer. And let's see. It says unconditional acceptance. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me, I will certainly not cast out. That's John 6, 37. Precious Lord, in a world where acceptance is a rare commodity, elusive even among loved ones, your unconditional acceptance of me is a gift I treasure. The day I accepted your gift of eternal life, you accepted me and all my imperfections forever. I'm inspired, Lord, to be unconditional in my relationships but I am weak, imperfect. This causes me to judge, to hold a grudge, to withhold what was not withheld from me. Holy Spirit, don't let me do it. Remind me of the acceptance I have in Christ and demand that I extend it to the people in my life. It says, is it hard for you to accept the fact that you are unconditionally loved by your Heavenly Father? And I think it is, and we don't realize it. I, so I don't think it is, but yet I think it is at the same time, and we just don't realize it. So yeah, that was really nice. Um, tomorrow's video, I was wondering, you can leave comments below if you're interested. Um, if you're not interested, just don't say anything, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but when I was doing yesterday's video on my 14.5 inch doll, and I went back and was it came up on my news feed, <laughs> and I was like, oh, let me see the video, what, what everyone else is seeing that way. And so I watched it and I noticed when I got to the doll part and I was explaining the difference in the dolls, I may have been a little confusing. Um, I was holding a 14.5 inch doll, but I was comparing her body and style to the 18 inch doll and it made it seem like I was, they're the same doll, but they're not. So I was thinking about tomorrow going ahead and on part of my video is talk about the doll differences I was going to have, um, I have several dolls and I thought maybe I'd just show them to you guys and you can see their body styles and you can see their price, how much it costs for each of the dolls and you can decide on yourself. Now this of course is mostly for my pattern lovers and I know there's a lot of grandparents out there that are wanting to buy 
dolls for their grandkids Christmas coming up and all that and you're wanting to buy some dolls and you're wanting to buy some of my doll patterns so I'm just going to show you I thought that I would just show you some of the dolls and kind of compare them in their body styles and show you what I like and what I don't like about them <laughs> okay all right that is all that I have for this video I will see you in my next video bye Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.